Okay, so I recently got given one of these Ymaxit 14 inch touchscreen displays and uh, I absolutely love it. I was given it in exchange for making a YouTube video. I've done that video. I also ended up turning it into a 14 inch Raspberry Pi tablet. When I first had it and I was checking through the specs, seeing what I wanted to mention and things like that in the reviews, one of the things that cropped up was external big screen for your phone. Uh, now I have plugged my iPhone through it, but uh, iPhones don't support touch via a cable. And uh, so I wondered how cheap a phone I could get that would work with this screen. Uh, and I ended up with, well, a couple. Uh, this is running from a Samsung phone at the moment. But I also ended up buying a Lumia 950, which is a Microsoft phone, because I'd always wanted to see what Microsoft Continuum is like, which is basically uh, like a desktop operating system, but running from your phone. It's, it's kind of an early version of something like Dex. So if I double tap, and slide up. Uh, this is the Microsoft phone. We're going a bit closer so you can see the operating system of the phone first. So as an operating system, I've always thought that the Windows phone looked and operated really nicely. Um, so bearing in mind, this is a 2015 phone. Uh, it still feels pretty smooth. Uh, all of the things like settings and things like that, I think are very logical. It's very, very easy to use. But obviously Windows phones didn't, didn't go too well uh, and there was a big reason for that. Uh, app support was just abysmal. And uh, I had a friend who bought, uh, I think she bought two Microsoft phones and I never understood why you wouldn't just go for Android or iOS. And I kind of still understand that as well. But the continuum part of this phone is really interesting. Now you can see I've got various different games and apps installed on here. Uh, if I plug it into this Ymaxit display with a USB-C cable, and this display has got uh, two USB-C sockets, so any, I think any one of them work. I'm just going to use the bottom one. Uh, and then if I plug the USB-C cable into my phone, you can hear that it detects it, and it starts up. And here we are. So let's move in a bit closer. So on the phone itself, you've got a touchpad, and that basically moves around the mouse on the screen. But also, touch is actually transferred over. It turns this 14-inch display into a tablet. Uh, and I can use all sorts of things, games and things like that. Anything that would use touch, work with touch. But also, you can keep going back to the touchpad that's on here, and you also have keyboard option as well. So Crossy Road is just one of the games that's available. There's not very many games, uh, but it also supports uh, Xbox One controllers as well, as you can see there. But I can also keep switching back to touch. So you can see that this game works absolutely fine with touch. And if you swipe, you can go left and right. So if you use the touchpad to go to the bottom of the screen, you can see that I can call up all apps. There you go, and if I switch up here, you can see the only app that's running is that one. But if I quit that, you have a bit like a Windows 10 looking operating system. And on the right hand side, we've got our usual different settings. Uh, you can see I've got Bluetooth, I've got a Bluetooth speaker connected, I've got my Bluetooth uh, Xbox One controller connected, uh, and everything is working really nicely. You do get some weird anomalies where certain things are greyed out, which is a bit annoying. Uh, so not everything works with Continuum, uh, which would be something that you'd want them, to, you know, there's no reason that Cut the Rope wouldn't work with this really. Uh, it's a touchscreen game, uh, it, it works on other tablets and things like that, but even the Xbox One app doesn't work, uh, which is a weird one. Uh, I found an app that you can, because you can see the phone stays on all the time, so it's going to use more power. I found an app. Um, which was this one here called Blackout, which actually blacks out the display so it uses less power from the phone. So when you're using it on the tablet, it's not lighting up the display of the phone at all. So we can see that it works very well uh, with this touchscreen display. And the fact that I really like the fact that uh, the games work and uh, all the tiles and things like that. So we went to the news uh, and it's very responsive. It just feels like it's a tablet. There you go. So the news comes up. And uh, if we call up, what other things have we got? There's, there's several different games on here. There's a car game on here. And again, if I wanna, if I wanna minimize everything, so let's quit all of those. There you go. And if I just disconnect it, 
it goes back to being a Microsoft phone. Immediately happens. But also, if I move the Wimaxit display out of the way, plug into this Microsoft dock, and this Microsoft dock, I'll show you a picture of the back of it, uh, has uh, three USB sockets. It's got um, HDMI out, which plugs into this other monitor, and, uh, and also USB power, so it powers the phone when you're using it. So this is just another way of using it, like a desktop computer. So it says wrong charger on my, on my phone. Uh, it's, it is the wrong charger. It's a uh, Sony one, I think. Um, so again, if I just do that blackout feature, so now the phone display is off. I have a wireless dongle in the back here uh, of this little dock. Uh, it's got the nice uh, Microsoft logo on there, everything looks nice. Right, let's switch over to screen capture. Uh, well, just to show you the mouse is working and we'll switch over to screen capture and I'll show you a bit more about the operating system. So you can see now on the left hand side is uh, the apps that are on the phone, but it comes up like it's a desktop menu. Uh, and you can more clearly see the things that are greyed out, so like the Xbox console app, uh, the uh, cut the rope app and so on uh, but other things are alright so if we hit Microsoft Edge there you go so this is running at 1080 and if I go full screen you can see that it plays pretty well if I right click oh I can't get stats for nerds so it's not a full normal desktop browser there you go so it comes up in this one uh, so 1920 by 1080 zero frames dropped of 798 so yeah, video playback, very good. Uh, if I want to close that down, I can actually use this, which goes between all the open windows, and then I can exit out of it there. So let's have a look around the operating system. Uh, so you've got things like files in here. You can see uh, OneDrive is there. That turns the light on on the phone, uh, which you can do from the desktop, which is a bit strange, uh, but, it's, but it's interesting. So if I click on the folders, you can see that folders work in the same sort of way as they do in Windows, but you don't have that sort of full access to everything. Uh, but if you plug in a USB stick, it shows up in this and you can drag it between folders. So file management is, is quite nice to use with the mouse and keyboard, which is not like it is on most mobile devices. It's, it, uh, I think it's a bit better on this, if anything. Uh, the MyTube app uh, works very well and supports Continuum. I found a, a guide which told you various different things that work with Continuum. Actually, interestingly, a lot of the games have stopped working. Um, so uh, they, they no longer are supported by Continuum, which is a bit weird. So whether they took support away. Microsoft Store, you can do the same as you would normally do. Uh, and obviously a lot of these would be touchscreen apps. And you can go through. The, one of the weird things about the Microsoft Store is that it shows you things that you can't put on it, uh, which I think is a, is a bit odd. It would be nice if it only showed you. There might be a section, but I couldn't see one. And if I go to My Library, uh, because of the Xbox subscription I've got, it shows me all the Xbox games, and they aren't installable in this system. So I thought that was a bit weird. You see the calendar there. I'll just start opening a few things up just to show you how it multitasks. Uh, Microsoft Word as well. Is Word going to open up? I've clicked on it. Might just be going a bit slow because I've got several things open. This phone has got 3 gig of RAM, um, which is quite low for a sort of desktop operating system, but it does it does seem reasonable. Again, again given the age of it and everything, uh, there are certain things. Well, it's not going to do Word, is it? So maybe I maybe I click on that again. Oh yeah. So maybe I didn't click on it properly. So if we were to pick a document you can see that it does look pretty much like the desktop version of Word. And this just seems to come with this. So whether you just get a, a free version, so if we do Lumia, oh, Lumia 950, you can see it's pretty responsive. If I click on the image, I wonder how that resizes. Yeah, not bad. Rotate. Oh, you have to drag it here. Yeah, rotate. Yeah, that's, I, I think, pretty responsive. So let's close some of these bits down. So I'll just go back to the browser, Microsoft Store, my, oh, the browser's not up, so let's call that up. And Edge. And things like the settings uh, do look very much like Windows 10. So you can see all these various options here. 
Uh, again, the flashlight option there, mobile data. I plugged in an Ethernet connection and it worked straight off, uh, which was nice to see. So if I click on all settings, yeah, very, very much like Windows 10. Updates come up in there and it's all searchable as well. Again, I, I, I don't seem to have a close down X unless I do this, uh, unless I show all the windows. But actually you can use Alt F4. So if I do Alt F4, that will close the open window like it would on a desktop operating system. So let's go Hot UK Deals. Oh, something's gone weird. Weird how the music is carrying on. There you go, and the page comes up, and let's get something else open. Raspberry Pi, and click on the official site. If I can find the official site, there it is. Oh, it doesn't seem to like this page, so if I, if I click on it, look, it loads the page, but then it disappears. That's weird. So if I go to a different page on there, that comes up and disappears. Haven't had that before. So if I do, uh, let's say, Arcade Punks, because that'll have loads. Oop. Arcade Punks, because that does loads of, uh, there's all sorts of adverts and things on there. So there'll be a lot of content. Let's see how it displays that. Yeah, that comes up and stays. Oh, I wonder why the Raspberry Pi site doesn't. So back to Hot UK Deals, flick through that. So it's not the most responsive of browsers, but it, it, at least it's giving you uh, a full screen browser. So Open Lara works in the browser, um, not great, um, but as you can see, it is, it is working, uh, but uh, this is at the lower settings and also in a small window. So yeah, not, not ideal. Okay, so let's try the Spectrum emulator, which works in the web browser. Let's see if that works on this. So Manic Miner. Yeah, that seems to be working all right. So uh, web browser games, uh, obviously basic ones seem to be supported, which is quite nice to see. And the keyboard support is there. So it was an interesting experience. It was nice to see a different operating system, something I'd never used before. and. Uh, I made the right decision having Android and iOS phones in the past uh, because Windows phones, I think, weren't for me. Uh, just the fact that you couldn't get a lot of the key apps really put me off. Uh, but, uh, but I like the continuum side of it, and I could see how for some people at that time it would have been very useful to be able to use those Office apps. But uh, I'm actually also using uh, this with a very cheap... USB-C adapter, and there's a link in the description of this, but I've got my keyboard plugged in, HDMI, and there's power, that's powering the phone. So that's how it's working at the moment. And you can see, again, if I tap on the phone, you can see you can use the phone while the desktop shows something different. Anyway, I hope you like this. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.